All right, what is going on, hustlers? Welcome back into Hustlepedia. Today, we are going to dive into exactly why uh, I am so heavy on the smart NFT sector as far as the gaming niche. Um, I've obviously shared my favorite gaming projects. I've shared my top part of my gaming portfolio, my largest holdings of my gaming portfolio. Uh, and I want to kind of dig into why I'm honing in on a couple different NFT platforms that are going to really be the foundation of these blockchain games and metaverses that are really going to be taken over the future. I want to get into some stats on gaming um, that are very bullish for the future of in-game assets, which is what these smart NFTs will be performing. These smart NFTs are going to be able to transact within games with digital items that are evolutionary over time uh, imagine where you can rank up your asset in a video game and then you're able to sell it as an nft that's what a smart nft is going to have the technology to be capable to do we're going to get into my three favorite nft platforms for gaming um, and we'll get into those here in this video and i want to also go over just a quick market recap some assets that we've talked about here on the channel that are up greatly uh, and stuff like that so let's go ahead and get into it if you are new to the channel be sure to drop down and hit that subscribe button we come out with brand new cryptocurrency crypto gaming videos here every single day on the channel and be sure to like the video if you enjoyed the video if you are bullish on crypto gaming i am absolutely locked in on crypto gaming for q4's bull run uh and we are going to get into it here in this video so really looking good on you know the watch list today we have missed up another 38 percent a 4x on missed since we got into it here right on this channel uh meta wars good bounce back on uh, a little sell-off after the IDO, and that was expected. Ultra is up 20% today. The gaming distribution, the steam of crypto gaming. We have Super Farm absolutely pumping today, 17% up as well. We have touched $2 today on Super Farm. Uh, NFT Champions, my favorite low-cap blockchain game. If you haven't checked out NFT Champions, I have a video on that on this channel as well. Uh, up 15% today, up to 50 cents. Absolutely love to see that. And a lot of other assets are performing really well. We have Atari token up to 17 cents, up 11% today. Overall, good to see a lot of our projects doing very, very well today as Bitcoin is trending up, Ethereum's trending up, and I think we're about to start seeing the run that everyone has been expecting here very, very very soon. I think this could be the start of it potentially. Um, so I want to go over this article here as well on Cointelegraph, why blockchain based games economies are the future. But I really want to get into this. Uh, experts predict that the number of streamers of online games will rise to 1 billion by 2025. The market for global gaming is 180 billion, the fastest growing for form of global entertainment. For reference, the global film industry is only worth 100 billion and all North American sports bring in $73 billion in revenue. So you can only see the niche market that gaming is, guys. A lot of people sometimes don't really understand uh, the market that gaming provides and how many people are really involved in the gaming ecosystem, whether it's playing the game or watching streams. And then you you see Travis Scott did a live performance in the popular online game Fortnite last year that was highly publicized. If you have a Twitter, you probably saw something about it. Uh, it received over 12.3 million views and netted Scott over 20 million per tech crunch and game industry. So that is kind of like a metaverse example, Fortnite having a Travis Scott concert. So these are all the things that, for example, Facebook sees in the future. And a lot of these metaverse projects are trying to perform. But there's one platform that they cannot perform their key functions, in-game assets, the swapping of in-game assets, leveling up in-game assets without one key function, and that is smart NFTs. And I want to get into this little brief article, a couple, just a couple excerpts. It's incredibly interesting about the world of smart NFTs that are multi-layered NFTs. They are netted with other, at, at, like other digital assets. They build on current NFTs because instead of the NFT representing ownership of the digital art, the smart NFT is digital art. So imagine, you know, you're playing this game, obviously in this car here, your, your little racer is an NFT and you can customize your NFT inside of the game. You can uh, level up your car by winning races, and then you can eventually trade your car. Uh, Goaty Gaming have produced a futuristic next-gen video game where the cars themselves are smart NFTs, made possible through the netted asset idea where NFTs are built upon another with digital asset incorporated into each layered NFT 
people often compare this concept to a Russian nesting doll. This would allow users to both protect assets through creating digital padding that limits access as well as gives access to others quickly and easily. And then it kind of shouts out Phantasma back here, which we will be talking about in this video, as they have been at the forefront of advanced NFT technology, and this has been made possible by its unique blockchain infrastructure. Put simply, Phantasma's blockchain was designed for the specific purpose to mint multiple NFTs at a low cost. Obviously, we brought you Soul here right on the channel, Phantasma at 80 cents. It is about 2x right now. Um, so that is an awesome, awesome performer as of now. And let's go ahead and dive into it. And we'll start uh, with the coin market cap. We'll take a look at Altura. 31 cents right now, $186 million market cap. If you don't know Altura, they provide tools, infrastructure for developers to create and integrate smart NFTs into their video games and applications. Very, very straightforward. And you take a look at their website where blockchain meets gaming, the next generation of gaming NFT platform. Uh, and they claim to be the future of NFTs. They're kind of like, you know, the really hot one in the industry right now. As far as smart NFTs, their name's been really, really thrown around lately. And I am super bullish on Altura. Uh, their NFTs, their smart NFTs. Imagine a video game where your sword that gets stronger every time is used to slay a monster. Uh, that it is used to slay a monster. Smart NFTs have properties that can change based on certain conditions. They have transparent protocols, open source, simple APIs, cross-platform items, low fees and true ownership they have their loot boxes coming out in a little over a day as well where they create truly random loot boxes that drop nfts with varying rarities when they are unlocked they also have their nft marketplace live right now uh, you can go take a look at all of their nfts and their top monthly sellers uh, their altura punks altura penguins all that good stuff you come back over to their website they are partners with Chainlink, Cedify, Crypto Blades, NFT, NFT Trade, Oxbull, Wizard, Rune, so Deep Space. They have a lot of solidified partnerships. Uh, their team is fully docs. And then you take a look at the roadmap. Uh, by the time it is 2022 here, um, in this extended Q2, Q3 timeline, have major gaming companies utilizing our SDKs and APIs and have major gaming companies roll out NFTs on Altura. Um, have indie game developers adopt Altura in their video games. So they have a solidified, a solidified roadmap a fully docs team and a vision that I completely love. Uh, Altura is forming a lot of good partnerships. They have 10,000 users already on their Altura marketplace, their NFT marketplace. Their loot boxes are getting good hype and they have recently partnered with Polka City, another trending, I would say a very trending uh, project, a metaverse, a GTA style metaverse built on Polkadot. Uh, Altura has recently partnered with Polka City. And there are recently also 50,000 Altura holders. Welcome all the new devs, artists, gamers, NFT enthusiasts, investors, and supporters joining Altura's community. Next up, 100K. Very bullish on Altura. And I still think, despite this week's little dip, uh, and it was expected, guys, this thing literally went from three, four cents to 40 cents in a matter of, what are we talking, like from four cents down here in two weeks, it went up all the way to to 40 cents. You know, that's basically, I mean, it was a 10X in two weeks. It was a 10X in two weeks. So it was due for a consolidation. I think a 25% a pullback from 40 to 30 cents has been very healthy. And I think that this market cap here, safe to say, is going to be, you know, north of 500 and potentially a billion dollars by the time that this bull run comes to an end and this alt season comes to an end, I see Altura getting close or over a dollar in this run. And I don't think that's overshooting. Um, I don't like to try to provide hopium as far as projections. I'm not that type of, you know, I'm not, I'm not that type of, you know, hype. I don't like to just blatantly hype coins and tell you they're all going to the moon. Um, so that's why, you know, I'm not, you know, 50x gains. But the one thing I will say, Altura has billion dollar market cap potential and I think this thing legitimately can get up to a dollar and I think you will see a bounce back very very soon with Altura and to get into the next one money has been flowing into the other smart contract platforms the other smart NFT platforms Phantasma has literally ran up from 80 cents this last week to all the way to a dollar 53 nearly and it was over a 2x uh, but we've 2x our position basically here on Phantasma soul already sitting at 158 million dollar market cap and the difference here is Phantasma has their own layer one blockchain for smart nfts built on gaming and i absolutely love that it is not just 
ba the backbone. It's not just like integrating their NFTs into their games. It's a literal layer one blockchain that Phantasma has built for smart NFTs to integrate into games. So I absolutely love that. And money has been coming into these other platforms. It's not a coincidence here. It is not a coincidence that Altura's dip coincides with another smart NFT platform like Phantasma running up. And then we've also seen the other coin we'll talk about, Efinity, really running up. So we'll get into it here uh, very, very shortly. Uh, smart NFTs, gamings, and dApps. We connect you and create and control uh, and get tokens, gaming, non-fungible tokens, dApps, developers, and connect with us. Built for gaming, the, technolo the technological backbone for the future of gaming, enabling a silky smooth user experience while, ex while increasing developer revenue and empowering gamers through the, di uh, through the world of true digital ownership. And you take a look, they already have all these dApps. Uh, Ghost Market, their in-game pavilion, Wonder Man Nation, 22 Racing Series, The Gardens Between. Then they have a bunch of stuff in development here. I love to see that. And then you just go to their gaming section blockchain enabled gaming new revenue streams for developers to earn royalties on secondhand sale of game licenses or in-game assets i absolutely love that it gives builders and developers of games incentive to build on phantasma's layer one smart nft blockchain to be able to incentivize them that they will not only get the potential royalties and sales of the initial sale of their games or of their licenses in-game assets stuff like that they will be getting secondhand royalties on all of the purchases within the marketplace so that is definitely incentive uh, you can change tournament entry fees attract users from other games through enabling cross game asset usage so they're enabling their smart nfts to be utilized across different games that's absolutely revolutionary and this is the whole concept guys owning your assets not being at the prisoner of a company that's sucking money out of you to get the assets, to get a skin in Fortnite, to get a gun in Warzone, to get uh, a character in a game, or to unlock a sword. It's just the concept of giving money to a corporate centralized company that is extracting the money from their players for assets in game that don't have any value once they're transacted. This is completely a paradigm shift, and this is the movement that Phantasma and all these smart NFT platforms are going to be the complete foundation of. And this is why I'm 100% backing Phantasma, Altura, Affinity. Um, you know, this is going to change the game. And a blockchain unleashed, friction free, it's fast, inexpensive, and feature packed. Uh, and from the ground up, Phantasma has built with the gamer in mind. From the super fast transactions to the industry-leading native smart NFT standard, neither gamers nor game developers need to make compromises. Uh, so I absolutely love Phantasma. And they're super active on Twitter as well. Uh, they're super active on Twitter as well. You see smart NFTs, gaming, and dApps. We connect, you create and control. A carbon-neutral cross-chain and scalable L1 blockchain. And I want to get into probably what's the... The project that seems to not be getting the most attention, at least publicity-wise, um, and that is Efinity Token. Efinity Token is built by Engine, and it is also backed and built on the Polkadot blockchain. Uh, I absolutely love Efinity. It is developed by Engine. It is the world's cross-chain NFT blockchain, and it is powered on the deflationary EFI token built on Polkadot in partnership with Parity Technologies and Web3 Foundation. It is a new blockchain purpose-built for NFTs. It is a token highway designed to enable a specific kind of future where NFTs as a widespread are easy to use as smartphones today. Uh, and you take a look at Efinity, next-gen blockchain for NFTs, scalable, decentralized cross-chain network designed to bring non-fungible tokens to everyone. And then you go over, get started with NFTs. This is obviously Engine, and Engine is who is building Efinity. And Engine is huge, guys. Engine is what most games go to for their in-game NFT assets right now. And a lot of games build on Engine. 
So the fact that Engine is infusing 100 million Metaverse fund into Efinity ahead of the Polkadot parachain auctions, it is getting more eyes on it now with the DOT auctions. People are seeing that they're going up for a DOT auction and they're naturally going to take a look at it. And once we finish our work building the My Metaverse NFT powered app explorer for our My Meta games, we're keen to move forward and focus on contributing to the Efinity ecosystem. It is one of the biggest NFT chains in the world and it is not even live yet. This is definitely the sleeper project of the bunch, and I really wouldn't be scared about what you've seen on this chart. Sure, it is absolute, and you take a look, it's not near its all-time highs still, guy. We're, we're still literally 2x about from all-time highs, 337. We're sitting at $1.85 right now, uh, but Efinity, this is a DOT project that I feel like just not a lot of people are talking about, and everyone's really hot on DOT ecosystem. This would be my selection uh, for absolute max gains uh, as far as when it comes to my choice of a potential polka dot project that's already live, that's in the Paradigm polka, polka dot auctions, um, that's already has a coin, for example. I'm really high on Moonbeam in the polka dot parachains, but as far as a token that is tradable right now i would say Efinity is definitely my favorite polka dot project uh by far especially with my niche that i'm hammering down on gaming and how locked in we've been on the calls and on the coins we have been narrowing down for our portfolio here in q4 uh but Efinity is definitely my top pick as a sleeper uh as far as the bunch and i think that this has literal billion dollar potential as far as market cap and i wouldn't be surprised to see a five dollar plus Efinity token here in q4 and that is on the conservative side like i said i'm not trying to provide any sort of false hopium uh, or you know anything like that. I try to be realistic and always set the correct expectations. And I think that you're safely going to see $500 million market cap here for Affinity Token very, very soon. And I think this thing would be $5 plus, $10 plus here in the short term. Uh, let alone the long term when Affinity Token is actually having projects building on it and integrating with their blockchain. I think Affinity is going to do really well long term. And then Phantasma, I think I might have skipped their market cap and price project projection. I see Phantasma ending the Q4 around $750 million market cap and probably about $5 plus as well, $7 right around that area. I think once alt season starts at the number 380 coin, I think that you're going to start seeing Phantasma really climb up the ladder pretty quickly uh, along with Altura and along with Affinity. And there's a big reason why this is my most, probably my most heavily allocated niche within crypto gaming. It's because crypto gaming absolutely needs these platforms to be able to swap their in-game assets in and out and allow players to have true ownership and level up ability of true in-game on-chain assets. Uh, so that is why I'm so bullish on the smart NFT sector. And I love all three of these projects, guys. All in all, I don't think you can go wrong picking any of these. I think if you want the most sleeper project, I would definitely go with Efinity. And I think if you want maybe uh, the most you know, mainstream project, I would say Altura. And then if you kind of want to go with that project in the middle that is literally a layer one blockchain built on game, built, built for gaming, I would definitely go with Soul. And I think, like I said, I hold all three. Uh, I think all of these have major, major potential here at the end of the bull run uh, to do major numbers. I think you're going to see clean five to 10 X's on these coins uh, coming up to close the year. So let's go ahead and close it out, guys. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, if you're bullish on crypto gaming, if you're bullish on Altura, Phantasma, or Efinity token, let me know in the comments down below as well your thoughts on smart NFT platforms and your favorite of the bunch as well. And like the video if you enjoyed the video. We'll be back tomorrow with another video, guys. As always, stay bullish, keep hustling. Peace.